Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an Acer Chromebook Spin 311. The exact model for the computer used here is a CP311-3H, but this should help you with all the 311 models. I'll show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. So you've got four screws along the bottom here, four screws along the middle, and four screws up top. After removing all of those screws, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool to go around the entire seam to pry the bottom case off. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones do. So go nice and slow but firm all the way across. If you get stuck in one section, leave it, go around, start in the other section, and go around the opposite way. And after you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a quick side point, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer while you're working on it. If you would like any suggestions for tools or supplies for your project, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll show you many of the things I use in my shop. So to get your battery out here, there's a screw hole here and a screw hole here. I imagine most of you will have screws there. I didn't have any in my computer, so this must have been opened up prior, but there are two screw holes on either side. After that, your battery wires come out here, they run through here and plug into the motherboard there. It, it's kind of a pain in the butt. This is a black piece of tape. You can just peel that off. And once you do, you'll see this kind of plug that you can just unplug from the motherboard. As with most cords in a computer, um, try not to pull on the wires if you can help it. Try to manipulate the plug itself without pulling on the wires. So here you have a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails to pull that out or a pry tool. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't pull on wires if, if you can help it. Also, what's a pain about this is these wires interweave through this ridiculous thing here. Um, so you may have to peel this off of the battery, peel this black tape up from there. It's, it's kind of a, a messy pain to get that up. If you want the specs here, guys, this is a 7.7 .7 volt battery, 36 watt hour. Um, and the model number for the brand name Acer battery is AP16L5J. I'll have all that information below in the description. And the link I told you about before with all the tools and supplies, I'll also have in that link all the replacement parts for this computer, the batteries, speakers, all, all the replacement parts for this model. So it'll all be in that one link if you want it. So that's the video, guys. I hope it helped you out in whatever project you're working on. Um, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Also, please remember to like and share if the video was helpful. And if you want to keep my information on hand for future reference, please remember to subscribe. I do answer all questions on the hardware replacements and my other channel, PC Monkey, which there will be a link for that below in the description. That channel deals more with computer diagnostics and troubleshooting issues. Uh, repairs, upgrades, and I answer all questions on that channel as well. So if you ever need any help now or in the future with your computer, I'm a good contact to have. And for those of you who wanna support the channel a little further and leave a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.